Welcome, theater addicts. My name is Danielle Benson, and I'm here with Elle LaFrance of I Think I'm Dead. Like whenever something terrible happens, I just immediately write down a couple jokes about it, and then I deal with it. I was reading the show description, and it says it's a little bit about insomnia and a little bit about mental health issues and stuff. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, the way I usually pitch it is that it's about insomnia, parallel universes, and how I'm not convinced any of us are actually real. Um, it's sort of like a, it's a, it's an existential crisis comedy. If that, if there is such a thing uh, as that, which I, I think there is, that's why Fringe exists. It starts with the idea that I, you know, I suffered from pretty intense insomnia for about 15 years, uh, and so it, I started writing about how that affected my life. But then it also really dives into how. Uh, how I've dealt with depression and how depression has uh, had an effect on my different family members over time. Yeah, I think it's it's really important for us to openly discuss mental health. I'm happy that we've all like collectively uh, been making good strides at that, but there's still a lot of room there uh, for progress. It's a very intimate show, uh, and a lot of people tend to say that it's uh, that it feels somewhat conversational, like it feels like you're sitting down with uh, with someone who's just catching you up on their life but at a breakneck pace like uh, I, I occasionally get to watch people get exhausted watching me speak as fast as i do during the show i don't want to put any pressure on vancouver but this version of edmonton is the best festival i've ever experienced like i've never had such a good time uh anywhere where i got dual five-star reviews on opening weekend and i sold out uh seven out of ten shows uh, which is just like a crazy run for me. So I was drunkenly browsing Craigslist one night uh, and there was an ad for like they needed volunteers for the Montreal Fringe and like one of the things it says was theater and I was like I guess I'll see whatever this is um, and I just signed up for it and like a few days in I had seen dozens of shows and I was like oh yeah no I guess this is what I do now <laughs> like all these people that I love are all weirdos making weird shows and that's uh, that's what I adore last year I spent the whole summer touring a show about a man living inside my beard I've been wanting to be in Vancouver for a while I spent about two months there last year and uh, you know I just really like mountains and rain and that's just a perfect combo for Vancouver also, things that are ridiculously expensive. I love that. Uh, I just hope my car still works and I can make it to Vancouver on time.